But what I hear from pro players all the time, you guys say we learn more from our losses than we do our wins. And I think it's important for the young fans that we have watching for them to understand that lesson because it's going to be tough when you want to crawl into a hole to pull yourself out and say, all right, well, how can I build from this? So we're going to bring up some of our lowlights oh. instead of highlights, <laughs> instead of the dig me tapes, and Ooh. tell us what you learned and how you learned it. Hey, this this hurts, Nelly. Come on, I'm man. sorry, X. I didn't I mean to do it to you like that. But. Well, I, I still remember my first major league game. Like I got called up. It was in Milwaukee, and here goes the tape. I made an error on one of my first plays oh, yeah. in the big oh. leagues and just sailed it over my guy c -Sheck's head. And I had plenty of time just to just take a, get the ground ball, take a couple steps toward first, and even flip it. But I was so, like, hyped up not, I, and a little bit of anxiousness mm. instead of like really slowing down and understanding okay what happens when this ball comes to me and what am I going to do it's almost that pre preparation thinking about how much time I have who's the runner but instead I'm like I got to get rid of this ball so you start to learn like over time like how to slow things down we talk all the time about slowing the yeah, game down right so mm -hmm. that's the biggest thing I learned from that Jazzy well I mean I learned it from my first era this year I mean I worked on my defense all year, came into the year, was making a lot of good plays, and then if this happens, you know, I mean, it, it brings you right back down, you know what I mean? Like, not even in the picture. Like, he, st <laughs> he was still running to first base when the ball hit the back fence, you know what I mean? Like, so, it's just... So, yeah, so you're aware that Yadi Molina is the yeah. base runner, so you have time, and you made a nice pick. I mean, yeah, made a great play. I could have ran the second base and threw that ball and <laughs> beat him the first base. You know what I mean? I just had could have took my time. I could have stood up straight, act like I was playing catch with someone on the line, yeah. anything, and I would still get him out. You know, it's Yadi or Molina running. Right. So it's just like, it's just something you learn from. You know what I mean? It's just. It's you like, were hot. We saw the. Oh, you I was. Were... It's one of the few times I've ever been embarrassed in my life. You know what I mean? I'm not a person that gets embarrassed of stuff that I do. But it's just that at that moment, I know I'm way better than that. So, you know what I mean? So let me ask the both of you. Was there a veteran or a teammate who came up to you first, put an arm around you and, you know, tried to pick you up and said, hey, you know, this is what you could do next time. Or just, hey, you know, get your head back in the game. You got another another inning to get out there and make a play. I mean, Donnie came up to me. I had I had Don Mattingly, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, great infielder. So right? he just came up to me and he's like, man, I've, I've seen you've been working all off season. You've been working all season. That's your first era this whole year. Mm -hmm. Now, time to get your head out of your stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I understand you've been making plays all year, but don't forget, it's yeah. you could step and make that throw very easily. You, you chose to do that yourself. So you gave yourself that error. And I felt like I think I made three errors that year. And and this year, and only one of them was a throwing error, and it was that one right there. So I felt like he helped me out a lot on that one, and just just got to do your stuff the right way, you know? You can't just be lax and just back off of things, you know? Right, because mm -hmm. at this level, stuff like that will happen. D.O.D., what about you? Yeah, yeah, it's different, different in being in the, the front different, office. Different from the errors these guys make. So, like, when, <laughs> when I made an error, they last, like, 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is over with on the next play. The other thing I'll tell you, you if you over. ever met a front office person, I'll tell you guys both this. If you ever met a front office person that said they didn't make a mistake or like a thousand of them, then they didn't make any decisions. Mm -hmm. Because when, you, when you're involved in evaluating players, you're going to make decisions. All right, so what's the one that haunts you? It's the 2006 draft. Um, we, uh, you know, we had Longoria at top of our board. And there he is right there. We didn't take him because we had backed up with Ian Stewart and Jeff Baker and Garrett Atkins, a whole bunch of guys, and just learned a lesson. You know what? Don't overthink the draft. Take the best players that are there for you to take each and every round. Figure the rest of it out. You never have too many good players. Hey, I, we could have a whole show on the mistakes I've made. Probably we could have a series wow. of shows on the mistakes I've made. But, you know, there are a few that sticks out to you because, you know, you live with that one for years. You watch Longoria go on and just have a – tremendous career and you realize I mean that dude was just and on top of that I passed on Linscombe, oh, Kershaw see, and Scherzer that year. I didn't mean to bring up all the old what? stuff. Oh, that dude. was a hell of a draft and I didn't get any of them. And so you kind of wow. as a, you live with that all the time because you realize how how game changing those decisions are for your organization. Yeah. Now wait wait we got now you got to have well, some too right. Well look I think if you just watch literally any show that I do on MLB <laughs> Network you'll, you'll be able to pick out at least seven errors. Uh, but there's one that the crew pulled up. This was me doing the in stadium PA announcement. 
Where the hell were this you? This is the celebrity. <laughs> also, Jojo Siwa. Awesome. Jojo Siwa. So Jojo and I became friends before this game. Like we were saying, hey Jojo, like I think you have a great performance. So I was trying to encourage her for an inside the park home and run. You almost got run right over. And I almost took someone who dances and entertains for a living an ACL <laughs> from her by getting too close to third base. So. Jojo, I'm, I'm sorry for almost ending your celebrity softball game career. Thankfully, it didn't happen, and you scored. What did you learn? I learned, did, like, your PA announcer stay in your lane, which is several <laughs> feet back from the field of play.